This might just look like a quiet field. But once you look a little closer, there are a lot of things going on here. Let's look at one of them. Have you ever thought about the scientific processes that take place in a strawberry patch? Let's find a strawberry and take a closer look. Now, in order for this strawberry to grow, the number of cells inside it must also increase. Although you can't see it with your eyes, strawberry cells are constantly dividing and expanding. In fact, by the time you get ready to eat it, a ripe strawberry has at least 2 million cells. Good thing they are really tiny. Let's look at a single cell within our strawberry. The genetic code or blueprint responsible for cell division can primarily be found within the nucleus of the strawberry cell. The molecule that directs all the cell division within this strawberry is called deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA for short. Inside every strawberry, DNA is packed very tightly to form seven chromosomes, each with eight copies. When we unravel one of these chromosomes, we can see just how much genetic material can be packed inside one little cell. The DNA's double helix shape allows it to be wound very tightly around cellular proteins that are called histones. Theoretically, if we were to unravel and line up all 56 of the strawberry's chromosomes end to end, it would stretch nearly two feet long. Now, let's compare the length of strawberry DNA to human DNA, as well as the DNA from the Japanese canopy plant and the marbled lungfish. As you can see, the amount of genetic material within the organism doesn't always match up with the organism's complexity.